Hey everybody, after Bakes here, back with another video for you all. Here's my first view, everyone, after the holiday season here, the Christmas stuff. Like we all have Merry Christmas there. <laughs> everyone, today, everyone, I'm gonna be having something I've done the well or what that's the first pressures are by. <laughs> it's sometimes where I you know, have first pressures on something I recently watched there. Um, this time I did was back with Hell of a Boss, it has been with Tail there. Um, so it has been quite a while since I did one of these videos here, so, um. Uh, everyone basically is where I get my first pressure to, uh, a show or something like that there. I read the first couple of first episodes, so, <laughs> see there. Whatever that, it's worth checking it out, so. <laughs> everyone, unlike the other ones I've done by, I'm gonna be very critical of this one here because, holy smokes. <laughs> and what is anywhere we talk about a show that's been making headways all over for the wrong reasons there. <laughs> and for what I've been seeing it's pretty much been universally paid there. That being the Red Ape family there, so now everyone <laughs> Those of you are aware of Ray Family there, it's an Indian series there that's pretty much funded by NFTs and cryptocurrency there, and Aaron pretty much summarize NFTs there, they say it's worth for non fungible tokens. It ties a lot with the cryptocurrency market there, and they're basically, you know, digital media, mainly artworks or drawings, whatever there that you pay for there. So it's supposed to give you like some kind of official ownership or something like that there. <laughs> what you really like it there is not really much difference compared to the normal artwork or pictures you see and whatnot there. <laughs> but yet, for some reason these things get so more ridiculous about the money there. I've seen some being sold for hundreds, even thousands of dollars there, so <laughs> and the Ray family is Pretty much show us based on the FT character designs for um, owned by Arshib Zeni and the Blessed Son there. It's people who are involved in the FT market there. Um, so. <laughs> and they end up deciding to make their own series there with the Ray family, which got funded by some cryptocurrency called Euphoria there. Now, everyone, I not well knowledge everything about cryptocurrency there, but I remember seeing the if I first heard about this show with review from Saber Sparker by and he went in detail out the stuff there, and apparently it got like a bunch of euphoria there that ended up costing um the same equivalent about almost two million dollars. So they had two million dollars of fun the first episode or so <laughs> and oh man <laughs> honestly everybody yeah after i watched your response video i decided to check out for myself there and oh man everybody <laughs> this is definitely one of the worst pieces of animation i have seen in quite a while there first of all the animation itself looks like trash okay <laughs> i mean I mean, comparing this to stuff I've reacted to in the past, and online creators like Busy Pop and Me Canyon, who, who uh, don't have the same budget as these guys got in there and their pilot, and their animation looks a million times better than what was in the pilot episode there. I mean, I mean the animation doesn't look that good there, quality wise. The character animation is so awkward looking there, you know. <laughs> you can see the PNGs there for some characters and some of the stuff there. They forgot how to get rid of stuff in the backgrounds there. There's a spelling error in like the first minute of the episode there. <laughs> where we'll say no he was detected, but it says to no he was detected. <laughs> forgot the T there. I mean. I mean, it's just, oh man. 
And it was for like the story or characters there. And when the they did a very poor job trying to tell a story there for the Ray family there. The closest thing they did was in the trailer there and stuff like that. Where apparently the Rene family there um, ended up moving to Mars there because Earth's dying out because of humans messing up some stuff there, you know. But they didn't even include that part of the official pilot there, so. <laughs> You're gonna be completely lost if you don't see the trailer there <laughs> to get some background there and stuff like that, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, apologies if it's for a burp, burp and hiccups, everybody had yeah, food all go, but anyways. So, everyone, they, the only little bit of storytelling they got is a trailer they forgot to put, they didn't even put in the final pilot there. As for the characters are one, they, I mean, they're, they have zero personality there, I mean. I mean, they're very bland, forgettable there. I mean, all they literally do is just make random jokes there. Eh, man. The only thing that's funny about Ray Family is how laughably bad it is. I mean, I mean, they try to do AFT jokes, turtle curse inside jokes there, and gross out humor there, and it did not. They did not do the jokes very well. Not that it was funny for the pilot there, you know. <sighs> yeah. It just baffles me that people pretty much gave the, gave the people working on the show $2 million there, and they put the lowest of effort in I mean, it's utterly ridiculous, you know. So, <laughs> it's just the first episode that got released here by uh, YouTube. And they're pretty much having people buy the rest of the episodes there. They're already got episode 2 out, but you have to pay it in order to see it there. So, um, as for $1,000 there, so much some of the NFTs being sold. So, yeah. It's totally ridiculous there. Yeah. That's... All this is again funded uh, a ridiculous amount of money, and yet they don't put any effort to make it entertaining there, you know. I mean. But probably the most ridiculous thing about everybody is that the, <laughs> uh, people, I mean, I don't want to sound harsh or anything like that there, but the people who work on the show there, the creators, actually thought it was good. I mean, the Zani guy, the head of the Zani Mia guy, he literally said this was better than the pilot episode for The Simpsons. <laughs> the, one of the most iconic cartoons of all time. And he's claiming that Ray Family's better than The Simpsons there. Look. <laughs> Look, I know a lot of people trash Simpsons there and stuff that nowadays. But I would honestly prefer any of the modern Simpsons episodes over the pilot episode for Red Ape Family. I mean, it is that bad, all right? Because at least the Simpsons got great animation there. I can still find some enjoyment watching episodes of Simpsons there. There was nothing for me, for me, for me here, right? <laughs> I mean, this feels like that the people who... Or making this, or just it for the money, and I don't really care about making some quality entertainment there. You know. And there's literally no excuse. They had people fund it there, got millions of dollars from people there for cryptocurrency about uh, equity, and they had two chains as executive producer, ex executive producer, as much as like two shades here. This is definitely one thing I'm not a fan of him being involved in, all right? I mean, what made it, I mean, he, he only probably will agree to it there because he knew that people would be spending a ridiculous amount of money on it there, so, I mean. 
mean, I could go on and buy it, but I think it pretty much said what it has to say there. So, over and by our first episode, Rain Family, there, it is terrible there. It is one of the worst things I've seen in quite a while there. I mean. <laughs> I mean, and this is rather insulting for independent animators there. Now, ignore how laughably bad it is there. It is very insulting to independent animators there and people who put in effort in their works there. Like I said, pretty much like Vizzy Pop and Me Canyon, other people who have done animation works there and put quality content there. It is insulting that this show gets millions of dollars there. Had more budget there. And yet, it's got released. It got released in the way it did there. It's a slap to the face of them there, you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, people already looked at it. It seems like a giant money laundering scheme there as a massive joke. And this, the Ray family, is just another example of that there. I mean, Animation's terrible there. They did a very poor job explaining the plot, and the characters have zero personality there, only consisting of random jokes there and whatnot. So, yeah. I mean, it is really, really bad or one. So, I recommend not to check out Ray Failure 1. Unless they actually show effort into making an entertaining show, I'm not gonna watch any episodes there. So, yeah. They dropped the first episode on YouTube there. That's all I'm gonna see of it there. So, yeah. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the people who actually invested money in Ray Family there. I say almost because they were dumb enough to fund this thing, so. That's all I can say about everybody. <laughs> Next video, everyone, will be getting back. A little bit of pause advisor by. I'll be continuing with the Spider Movie Marathon, everyone. I'm going to take a look at the first, the MCU Spider Man Filter one with Spider Man Homecoming, so we shall see that. First one, thanks for everyone. But if you all are interested, let me do more first person videos there. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe leave a comment or something like that. Maybe something to check out there. Maybe a show or something like that. Until everyone, it's also it's only raise your like button. New to the channel, subscribe, notification icon, so you see all the loads. I'll see you next time. Let's start picking out. Peace.